Dale Benham has been a biology professor at Nebraska Wesleyan University for the last 27 years. So obviously, Dale's a person that likes to keep his mind well oiled and his creative juices flowing. And our Lance Schwartz joins us now with Dale's very ambitious journey. Hi, Lance. Hi, Bridget. Good to see you. Can you even imagine looking at a big pile of raw lumber and thinking to yourself, now that would make a great looking sailboat. Well, Dale Benham is not like most of us. I see a pile of wood, I think, start a fire. Dale sees a big pile of wood, he thinks, sails, wind, and water. I took a shop class in the ninth grade. And that was young Dale Benham's first experience crafting wood. Kind of funny story, this boat is named Earl Craig for my shop teacher. More than 40 years later, Mr. Craig would surely be proud of his student whose eyes were open to the wonders of woodworking near Lubbock, Texas. It was really influential in my life. So influential that Dale started searching for plans to build a sailboat in 2012. Ian Utrid was the designer. He lives in Scotland. And he Ian sent Dale a handwritten note wishing him luck after he purchased the plans. He doesn't say how to do it, but this is the way it should look in the end. So it's up to you to figure out how to do that. It's the five degree angle. He'll come in in the evenings and he'll say, well, that was a head scratcher. He can't shut his monkey brain off for, for hours. Dale's wife, Sandra, has been right there every step of the way for the past four years of boat building. When he finally puts it in the water, it's going to be a really exciting day. I think I'll probably take a thousand pictures. Well, that day came and she did. Well, Dale, here we are. Four years later, countless days, countless hours, we're finally ready to put this baby in the water. How's it feel? It's pretty overwhelming. It's pretty neat to be sitting here thinking that, wow, it really is going to go in the water and I'm going to sail tonight. And up she goes. This 58 year old's boat buddies were at Holmes Lake in Mass ready to wish him happy sailing. This represents a, a good part of my friends. Um, and you've seen the progress through four years of doing this. And I literally couldn't have done it without your help or your support. This long journey has dared Dale to dream. Now you dream a lot about where the boat's gonna take you, kind of the adventures you're gonna have in it. So let's raise our glasses to the Earl Craig. Yeah. May she always bring us home. Yeah. Coming aboard. Appropriately, Sandra got to be the first mate on Dale's maiden voyage. Yay! Wow, that's a pretty good feeling. I'm used to such a little bitty boat. This one just kind of has a little slow motion, little roll to it. And yeah, it's fabulous. Working on this boat for more than four years gave Dale a lot of time to think about the impact his old ninth grade shop teacher had on his life. So Dale searched for and found Earl Craig himself, now 78 years old and living in Denton, Texas. The inspiring Mr. Craig now knows the enormous difference he made in the life of a 15-year-old freshman named Dale Benham. And be on the lookout, Bridget, because if you're out near Holmes Lake or Branched Oak Lake this fall, you just might see the sails of the mighty Earl Craig catching the wind and sailing toward the sunset. That is so cool. Such a lot of gratification that he must have. Thank Absolutely. you, Lance. We'll update your forecast next.